Hello. How is everybody today? Today is Friday. Friday. Let's hang out. Let's party, right? So I'm going to be doing mixed media, basically master board to start with. And then we just never know where I'm going to go. It's a party and we're going to figure out where I'm going to go. Mm. So what I did is I took a manila file folder and I used matte glue, matte gel as a glue. And I put anything from little bits of lace to dryer sheets to junk mail. And then I spray and then I painted gesso and then I sprinkled glitter. And that's a chunky glitter. And I wanted that in there because it gives me a little bit of texture. And I don't really use that glitter on anything else. I use very fine micro glitters um, on things and um, in my resin. But I just don't use it. So I thought, um, let me show you if I can see it right here. I thought I'd go ahead and just use this, this little container. I don't know if you guys remember these containers, getting them. I don't know if it was from the Dollar Tree. But I've had this forever forever and a day and I didn't want to have it anymore sitting there so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with Dilusions paints I have one two three four five six colors and let's hope they're not all dried up because that's what happens when you don't use paint but I um I'm hoping right Let's see. It doesn't look completely dried, so I think we'll be fine. Oh, look, 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 look. This is what happens when you hoard things. Now, I was over on Kathy's World today talking with Robin from Creating with Passion. And we talked about this type of thing. So let me check and see if they're all this way. This one's not. Okay, so this one I can use. Let's see this one. That's sad. So sad because the pink is my favorite. Oh, well, that one's usable too. I'm going to be able to use quite a few of these colors, it looks like. Maybe not quite a few. A few. So you guys definitely check out your paints periodically don't assume that they're going to stay okay because they just don't all right that one's still good so really i think the pink one is the only one that's dried up like i said that's the bummer because oh this one might be nope that one's okay too okay all righty so i'm gonna leave all these lids off Get all these crumbs off of here. Crusty boogers from my paint. Okay. So now what I was planning on doing. And I might need to use something I can wipe off. Or at least grab something that I can wipe this off with. Because what I think what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to dot these on here. The way that I did before. I'll work with this one. And I'm just going to add the dots. Around. Like that, wipe it off, and then I'll go to the next color. Like that, wipe it off, go to the white. White's already on there, but it's going to mix a little bit with these other colors, so it's not really, um, it's not really going to build oh, this one, this one, this one. So we have kind of a blue, teal, white, and then I don't think I can use the pink. I, wow, there we go. And then a little bit of black. Okay, so what my plan is now is to move this around with a paintbrush. I am going to use a very large paintbrush that I don't overwork it, right? And remember, I'm making a master board. Let's see if I can get this 
paint off of them. Let's see, I'm going to start to move this around. And there we go. Move it around this way. Have a nice brush effect. Actually kind of like that. The way it's blended together. Okay, so there's that. Making a big mess. What do you think about that blending? I'm not sure. It's a little bit flat. So now what I'm thinking is, is I would come over here and look at my sprays. Now, see, I have the white spray, the white linen. I can spray on top, lighten that up a little bit, right? Can you see that? But it still just looks flat. It needs another color. So let's grab the embossing powder because that's how I like to bring in a secondary color or third air, third or fourth or whatever. And I'm looking. I think I'm going to go with this light blue. Did you see that? I'm just going to sprinkle it here, 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 here. And then I'm going to try to get some back in the container, right? There we go. That, that lightened up a lot, right? Now we just come in with... Hi, Brian! Today was so much fun! Did you have fun today? I certainly did. Did you see my short where I, or on Instagram where I advertised you were over there? Let's watch this. It's always a little bit amazing to watch it turn. When I edit videos, I always fast forward through this part. Might not be able to get this all done. But we have that much. Now what I would like to do is put a stencil on here. A couple stencils maybe. A couple different ones. Right. And we will throw some... I was talking to Martha today about these products, and I was—I I used this one on a project that I mailed her, laser iridescent paste. But I'm going to use the opal glitter medium, okay? And I'll show you what that looks like. And this is a Hobby Lobby product, and it is $4.99, and I always go and buy it when it's on sale, okay? I don't pay the $4.99 for it if I can help it. So, and then I'm just going to go just like that. Just like that. And everything's smearing around. And I'll tell you why. Because everything's still a little bit wet. You understand? It's not been dried overnight. It's not been dried over the weekend. It's still a little bit wet. And it is reacting and, and blending together. And that's okay. Because that's how I get the effects that I like the most. Look at it now. So we went from the first few layers, right? Which were, they were getting there. But now that right there could be an ATC card on its own. That's gorgeous. Okay. So now I want to do something else, a different stencil. So I'm going to set this one over here. And I'm going to look through here. And me and everybody love this. 
print. So I'm going to put this on there, but I'm going to go half with the glitter, right? And then, so I'll do this half over here. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Especially on top of the, um, especially on top of the embossing, which has not been embossed yet right it just was too damp with the paint underneath it but it does dry and i can put the heat gun to it later it's not done until i decide it's done right so many things you can do now this would this is considered a master board for say atcs or tags let's say you're making a junk journal and you want to add some of your own vibe to it, you make your own design. Cut it up and put it inside your junk journal. So what do you think about that? That is so much cooler than, I mean, I don't know, they're different, right? They're just different. They are different. Okay, so I am going to spread this off onto here like that. Ooh, I'll tell you, I'm going to start putting some lids on some things because everything's going to start drying out even worse than it does with the lid on it, right? All righty. So I had a really great day, and I just want to say thank you to Kathy's World, um, Brian and uh, Chiquita and Aaron, and just, I, I can't remember everyone's name. I couldn't, there was just so much uh, wonderfulness that went on, and I just... I just really appreciate the opportunity to hang out and talk about my art. Definitely. Now, see this one. I got to come up with a plan. Let's come up with a plan. Let's move this back here. And then we will grab another one, which I have right here. And we will put a stencil on it, which is right here. And we'll do half. Well, we're going to do half with that because it's already down there. But I think I can make this spread like a paste. The only thing I will have to worry about is how long it takes to dry. But that's actually kind of cool when it turns into, um, and I say paste, like um, texture paste. All right, look at that. And then it blends with the colors. So here, look at me using paint that is dried to the point where I have to spread it like peanut butter it's the consistency of peanut butter now i want peanut butter Does anyone else love peanut butter okay so i'm just going to go over this because i don't want to do too much i'm not going to make it perfect so that's not the way i like it i like it to have little spots oh my goodness look at that Oh, I love it. That see, and I I've always loved that pink. Now I can once this is dry, I can spray it. I can do all sorts of things to that and make it another board. I'm gonna go like this. Try to, anyways. Put this one aside and come in with a different one. Why you ask? Why? And I always say the same thing because I can't. Because if I don't, who will, right? And this paint is only going to get drier. If I don't do something with it, it is only going to dry out to the point where I won't even be able to cut it out of there. So I'm going to use as much of it today as I can. There we go. I've already used half, half of the the mount that was left there and I've only done two stencils so it's pretty thick which is going to be great for texture now I always use these manila envelopes um, for master boards because they give me a very sturdy surface right I'm trying to scooch this up so that I can get this bottom part hi Mari how are you sweetie 
been a minute. I haven't been doing lives this week. I did do a live uh, over on Kathy's World's channel. But other than that, this this and sharing my haul is the only things I've done. Oh my gosh, I love it. How fun is that, guys? This is paint, but it's dried up a little bit to the point where you feel like, ah, I can't really paint with it. So what can I do with it? Well, we can make uh, mixed media projects, right? Ooh, yeah. So I have this piece of paper here that was being used for something else. I am going to do this one too. I'm just going to get this paint out of here and then I'll wash the tub and use it for something else because these are pretty handy tubs. Wait, do I want to do this same stencil? No. No. Let's do the numbers on top of the letters. And I'm going to have to take, oh, you're fighting a cold that's kicking your butt. Oh, I'm sorry, Mari. I'll tell you, I, when I had COVID, I just. I've forgotten how sick you can be from a virus, you know. I don't know that I've ever really ha technically had the flu. I, I've had a stomach flu a couple times, but, I, you know, the flu that we used to worry about before COVID. I never did the flu shots or anything. Boy, this, this is fun. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not mad at this paint for going dry on me. Because look what I'm being able to manage. And I wouldn't have done, obviously, if I hadn't got that down and figured out it dried up. Oh, my goodness. Look. Woohoo. I am loving that. Okay, so I'm going to move this over here. Everything I'm working with has to dry. That is pretty thick paint, and it's going to take it a, a little bit. I'm so sorry, Mari. So are you doing, are you have anything? There's, um, what is, what is there? There's herbal remedies and over-the-counter remedies. I, when, even when I had COVID, all I took was Advil because I have high blood pressure and I can't take cold medicines. So Advil was, thank you. I think it does too, Mari. I think I'm really glad that I got up there. These are up on the upper shelf. It was something that I bought years ago. I was so excited about. It was my passion, Dilusion Spray, Dilusion's Paint. And so I was hoarding them. And I really want to kind of get the message out. Ladies, hoarding just leads to waste when it comes to paint. Okay. Now I might could have put something in there to reconstitute it in the way that I would want it. But honestly... I just would rather use the paint when I have the urge to instead of talking myself out of it every time and saving it, right? That's the lesson to be learned today. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun with that. Now, I've got to find another place to lay something to dry because... Everything is uh, got something on it now. I found this piece of recycling over here. I'm going to do it on there too. Because the thing is, is that, yes, they all look very pink. But once I spray them, depending on what I spray them with or paint them with gesso, if I don't want it pink anymore, um, I can I can go so many different directions with the same. I can just use it to layer on other projects. It doesn't have to be the whole project. I'm just really excited. And I don't know. But I love numbers. I've always loved numbers and letters in my work. It's kind of one of my passions. Look at that. I'm going to use, I'm going to get to pan, ladies and gentlemen. I don't get to pan that often. I really don't. This is so fun. Okay. So if I do this, I will end up with some extra. And I think what I'll do is throw the raindrops falling on my head. Da, 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 da. Put this on here. Do some raindrops. Boy, do I have to wash stencils after this. 
<laughs> this is the worst I've done with my stencils. Oh, now that one's a little bit goopy and uh, smushy. Yes, see, Mari, that's the way I'm too. Benadryl, cough medicine, and some drops. Texas allergies. Called Texas allergies. Hmm. So there's those. So now we have multiple pages to work with when they all get dry. And I can gesso them. I can, um, well, the opportunities are endless. But this is now going to go. Oh, I am making a big old mess, ladies. This is going to go upstairs, and I'm going to mess around with that. I might alter this. Wouldn't that be fun? Hi, Miss Who. Beautiful lady yourself. You're so sweet to me. How are you tonight? Okay, so this is, I got to be careful. This one goes to this one. This one goes to this one. I wish I could do more with these, but I just don't really have, you know, what I could do is I could look at, I have some envelopes that I was working on. So I should have done that pink on here. <gasps> Maybe I will do a little bit. This is an envelope that I was altering and getting ready for to, to put in the mail for somebody. I don't know who yet. Never know who. Look at me. Look at me. But if, I'm going to be honest with you. If you can do this work and keep yourself clean, then you are a better artist than I. Because I cannot. There we go. And a little bit up here, and then we will. Messy, but that's okay. That's the way I roll. Missed you the last few times you've been on. You were camping. Woohoo! That is awesome. That's a great reason to be missing things, right? We sold our trailer. It wasn't I think it was the year before the summer, the winter before this, November, October, November before this one. So it's been a bit, but we used to go camping a lot. Oh, go have fun, sweetie. Thank you for stopping in. Go have fun. Okay, so what I was thinking is I could mix these up by cleaning them on here. That will give me, it gives you like a pink outline or whatever color uh, you have on the stencil. Almost like a shadow. It cleans your stencil a little bit. That's what these envelopes are, is me doing other art on top of them. So do you see that? Hi, Dahlia. How fun is that? And this is just me cleaning off stencils. Hi, Eve. Oh, my gosh. It's nice to see you. Did Chiquita tell you we hung out today for a few minutes? That was so fun. That was fun, fun, fun. I had a blast. And it just totally revved me up for, you know, coming up with more uh master boards I just am really kind of addicted because I can do one thing and then do so many other things with it so many so there is that oh I love it you guys this is just cleaning off my stencil okay and the layers is what it's all about right layering 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 never stop layering if you do one thing even with paper crafting even with painting even with um, you know, whatever you're doing, it's just throw another layer of something, not the same thing, something. Okay, so this leaves me with just the circles. So I will put those on this one because see this one has, this one has circles on it. I cleaned off. Do you see those? All right. I am going to try to figure out if I can 
fit it a little bit. I can't because I don't know how I managed to do it the first time. But I'm going to do this. And look at that pink coming down into the center of the circles. And I'm getting the pink off. It won't get washed down the sink. Smear this way a little bit. Give myself some texture. Right? Maybe we'll get we'll get bold and brave. I need to bust out my stencils. You oh, I have you guys. Okay, you want to talk addictions when we share addictions at minus stencils. I have a, a new stencil upstairs. I just got. I did a, a order from Ranger Tonic. And oh, look guys. Ooh, how fun. This is just too fun. I could do this all day. I don't want to do dinner and and do anything else the rest of the day. I just want to do mixed media. So this is just me putting it upside down on here and then scraping it so that whatever was on there got on there. But this one's like a really bold mess. And then these are almost blank. But what I do is I like to create beautiful envelopes to send yes you you have to love stencils don't you there's so many things we can do with them that like in all of our mediums right with paint with ink with um sprays everything anything you have and, and are working with you can use it on a stencil Oh, I love this color. Let's play with this color. What do I want to do with it, though? How do I want to make that work? That's the tricky question. Hmm. <laughs> oh, you know what we could do is we could bust out the matte gel and decoupage on here really quick. It's in their top three with texture paste and metals. Texture paste metals. Paints are a given. Exactly, Dahlia. Exactly. Oops. So tonight is wine and mixed media. So if you uh, have something to drink, just dabbled and saw myself going down the rabbit hole. Always. Always. So you guys, I have folders of these. This is a folder. I already have one out. I bought 12 of these in assorted uh, styles. Beautiful stencils. I have this one, which I don't know if any of the companies are on them. I think I just buy them majority on Amazon. No, this one is Crafters Workshop. This one is stunning. Let's play with this one. Let's play with this. Let's play stencils tonight. We'll just be like stencil girls. Okay, so what I think I'm going to try to do... This is what I think I'm going to try to do. That Yes, this one. This is stunning. And like I said, it was a pack of 12. And they um, were all just a little bit different. And it was awesome. Let's see. I'm going to tape this down so that I can mess around. And then I'm wondering if I can find a... I don't know. I should just leave it white for now. You know... Does anyone else have a love-hate relationship with washi? I don't normally have this much trouble. Though. There we go. That'll work. That will work. Oh, Thank you, Eve. I'll tell you, you guys, this is what it's all about. You know, I go over and I watch Chiquita, and I absolutely want to start working with napkins, right? You guys go over and watch uh, the next person, and then you want to do that. That's how we keep our crafty mojo going. I'm going to mess around with this just a bit. Just a bit. I'm going to try and see what I can do here. Because I'm not exactly sure. I was going to do make, uh, like a mixed media. But now I think I'm just going to paint it with the stencil. And see what I think. See what I think. If I like it. 
seven years, Eve. <gasps> Do you know that they've cheated on you by now, right? They've cheated on you. They've moved on. They found someone else. Stencils are like that. Okay, so now um, I know, and I should clean this better. But I'll be honest with you. I kind of dig the mixture of colors that happens. And so I'm just not going to worry about it. Now that one got really gloopy up there. Gloppy. And it's going to give me some trouble. Okay, so this is a variegated, right? What is that other term for that? Ombre. Ombre. See, now the, the term I always thought that you used for multicolor like that was variegated. So, yep, got to bring them out. We should have a stencil day, ladies, and we should do it live. Stencil day. We can, we can do whatever we want with them, just as long as you're working with stencils, right? Okay, I'm going to see how this looks. Oh. Look at that. What do you think? Ooh. Ladies, I'm having fun. I've now got this one last one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, oop, oh, stop that melody. So I'm going to put this on here in the same way, like that. And then I'm just going to brush lightly with this, not actually fill it in. Right? I'm not going to actually make it opaque. I'm just making it a brushy motion and hopefully some of that paint from the back will contrast. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Hi, Stacy. Stay safe. If it bothers you that I call you Stacy, email me, sweetie, and then... Uh, we can talk about how I should pronounce it because I am just one of those people where what goes in my head doesn't necessarily come out my mouth the right way. I know it says Stace, but to me, you're Stacy. <laughs> I apologize. I am sorry. Now, look, we have a shadow. How pretty is that? Do you love it? Wow, these are going to be fun. These are going to give us a lot to play with when it comes time to getting an envelope ready for Happy Mail. Hi, Kim. Oh, my gosh. How are you, sweetie? So we worked on this one. This is a stencil that we ombre uh, Dilutions paint because I'm trying to use it up. One of them dried up and want to get them used up. So this is an envelope. This is a 12 by nine envelopes. So all I got to do now is a lot of times what I do is I just, I address the other side. And I have a lot of people who get these that, you know, use them for something else or put them in, in a book or whatever. And this one was when the stencil was turned over and then I just dry brushed it. And it's a little bit more, you respond to Stacy, 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 stay, stay, stay. And most of the other combos. Thank you, sweetie. I appreciate your uh, kindness on that. I, I truly am not being disrespectful. That's mainly what I want you to know. But we worked with this dried up paint, the pink, and put it on top of one of my my uh, just things that I, I put together and um, don't necessarily always finish up until the, it's done. And then this is an envelope um, or part of an envelope. You see that? And I stenciled on that with the paint that's drying up, right? So that's going to be fun to work with. Wow, that was cool. I didn't know if I was going to end up having much fun with those because of the condition they were in and it caught me off guard. But I'm really, I'm happy. I used up that whole thing. I'm going to wash it out. I think I'm going to alter it, fill it with little goodies, right? I hit pan. <laughs> that's a big deal, guys. So how's everybody's Friday night? Friday night. Friday. I'll tell you. This week went by really fast. 
let me show you something I've had for quite a while. I was gifted this. I've tried jelly plating with it, as you can see. But this is wallpaper. And so I tried jelly plating on it. It didn't do much. It just put some color on there. Oh, nonstop decoupage and stenciling. I think stenciling should be the new fun thing, right? Right? We decide what's the new fun thing, don't we? Don't we don't we don't we call into the radio station or write our congressman or something and be like, this is the new fun thing. Put it on the to-do list. So check that out. Isn't that fun? I think I'm gonna do some ATCs with that. So if I grab that and then come over here and glue it onto this, then it will have a base. This, these are legal size um, file folders. And they are really useful to have around for multiple reasons. For one, um, is the base for master boards and ATC cards, right? Okay, so this is my swap and adulting here and there. Oh, adulting. Yeah, I didn't sign up for that today. No, I did actually. I did very adult things. I had the interview over at Kathy's. My dogs are going to start going uh because they hear that my husband is home oh, trying to get the paint to brush knocking things down so hubby's home we have been the last i don't know three or four or five well ever since i got better from covid having date nights on fridays and um some nights it, it starts early you know like he gets home 3 30 and i'm supposed to be ready and we get going some nights he gets home, we have a casual dinner, and then we watch a movie, which I'm thinking about asking him to watch this movie I found. But you guys, if you ever want to talk movies, I have been watching a lot more TV than I used to and watching some very interesting movies. <laughs> I don't know. Crazy stuff. Crazy Okay, so this is wallpaper, a strip of wallpaper now glued down with matte gel because that's the best glue to use, in my opinion, when you're doing this type of thing. All right, there we go. Now, we could, we could, let me tell you what we could do. We could have me reach back here to grab this. And we could, this is what I do is you guys, if I have scraps of things, right? I mean, even, no, that's a beautiful one. I wouldn't put that in there, but um, here's some meshing. See that mesh? Bits and pieces. I'm really bad. You guys, I keep everything. This is dryer sheets. I know that seems weird. And it's not like I have seven bags of them. I have one or two here and there. And junk mail. Is that junk mail? That's a storage box label thingy. Okay, you guys would think this is a garbage bag, right? And to some people, it would be. I will be adulting, need to wash and mop. And her son was six at the time. He says, you're going to have sex. <laughs> oh. oh, that is so funny. Traffic all day. Yes, that's adulting. I, I'm so glad I don't do that. Okay, so these are just bits of junk, but it will give me texture. So half of my board will be the wallpaper and then the other half will be all this other stuff, right? So put that down, put some more matte gel on it. Now this will need to dry overnight. And then once it's dry, I can um, 
gesso it and then I can spray anything I want on it. So I am going to try and get several types of things on here. I just, I love to show you guys this because sometimes when you see what you can do with what's normally thrown in the garbage or is considered useless, it really is a happy feeling. Yes, we can go to the store and we can buy beautiful paper, beautiful charms, beautiful products, but we can also create our very own ver vision and version of art, right? That is something that is an, a, also a joy. Hi, Rebecca. How are you, sweetie? <laughs> All righty. So I'm just going to continue to layer these up. Now, this is just texture. So when I do the other things I do to it, so like, do you see these? There's texture underneath the paint. And that's what this adds up to, is going up and up to that. And so you can't have that, though, if it's all flat, right? have to do some layering and I like to use the thicker cardboard cardstock because that gives me a, even a better and then when I get to a certain point like see this napkin or this tissues here that I was using I can put these in here and it is all texture come on come on come on come on come on <laughs> that dissolves like sugar. I think it gets a little bit of product on it and it just starts to dissolve. The thing is, is that there's no, this is what's um, therapeutic about the art is you don't have to worry about it looking perfect at this point. Do you see that? All you have to do is make sure you have a balance of um, textures so that you don't have like a really flat, awkward spot. And you've created something perfect. And then all you do is you go up from there and you create the color or style or, you know, I don't know, like you could paint it. I, I would actually recommend. Oh, Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Oh, jewelry items, beads and yarn. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I have to stay away because I have too much and I just, oh my gosh. It's tough though. My biggest thing that's tough is not shopping online. I can stay away from the stores. I don't go in the stores that often, but you, you will find me online shopping occasionally. Okay, so we have tissue or yeah, tissue paper type. It's actually like Kleenex. We have uh, cardstock. We have um, shopping label. We have, oh, the um, dryer sheet. And now I'm going to try and get this apart. Put this in there. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to put this one right here. And this is a really cool texture. That's going to really add. Add a lot, a lot, a lot. There we go. So we have on the one side the wallpaper. And then we just have junk, right? But you'll get to see in future videos how that turns out because I've got to let it dry all night and then work with it tomorrow. I got messy, messy girls. 
messy messy got my hands this is some of the best days i've had yes this is a master board right and so this one will come out probably different colors but along the lines of this and i just did this one at the beginning of this video so hi amanda how are you sweetie big hugs and love so this one has uh the texture underneath the collaging underneath then it has uh the delusions paint then it has embossing and then it has the glitter holographic through the stencils and uh this one would be really cool like um mermaid maybe even a journal cover i don't know but so that one's drawing we also worked on putting the paint on things so that i would have this to work with and i can gesso over it if i don't want to use with the pink and then uh, work with that we just have several several around here I'm doing good, Amanda. I, I had an interview today with a channel. Um, she does channel chats. And I really think everyone who's looking to grow their channel and expand the community, right? Go over and check out Kathy's World. Now, Brian was over there. Those of you who do bingo uh, with me know Brian. And um, a, a lady named, her name was Robin, but her channel name is Craft Creating with Passion. And um, I'll tell you, it just was a really, really nice uh, vibe. They're very supportive of each other. They're wanting to help the channels grow. They're just looking to get to know new people. And they're connected to the uh, Daffy, D-A-F-Y. And that's the disabled um, artists uh, thing group. I don't know exactly how it works. I'm looking into it they take donations to send uh to to have money to send the products to the people but they also take actual product and so that's where i'm going to start destashing some of the stuff that just really hasn't been um uh selling well you know and i do need to get some more stuff out of this place i mean mimi took a lot when she left but it barely barely made a dent i don't even know if she, if she would consider that it made a dent but it um it needs to get down to a manageable level definitely but this one we did with the stencil we ombre with the dilutions it's very very pretty yeah i would just check out hi lori i would definitely check out the new the, the channels that i'm talking about because What's happening is, is that um, we have an opportunity to continue our relationships with those that we love here in this community. Absolutely adore them. But to bring them to meet new people and bring those new people to meet our people. That's the way I'm looking at it, right? Like, let's say, you know, I want my friends and family to meet this other group of people that I really enjoy. So I get them all together and we all get to know each other and we do our best to you know, uh, to draw inspiration from each other. So that's why I'm doing it. And I'm so, oh, it's so hot there today, Lori. It's it's not hot here in Oregon, that's for sure. But I was showing them all the work that I've been doing. And it was so cool because it's been a long time since I kind of like vomited about my channel or my work. And I mean, I, I told them everything. I told them about the the art therapy i told them about the mixed media i told them about the resin i told them about the makeup i told them about my journals i just like wow right Blah. hi sandra how are you sweetie but yeah i i am so excited about expanding everything to uh create inclusion right just create more inclusion with more areas and more crafters um i just let's mess with this one some more this one's got a really good like background yes community love it, it's the the bottom line is ladies whether you want to grow your channel or you don't you still are here for a reason you're here to share what you do with people that you enjoy their company you can't meet them or more of them if you don't expand um oh lori 
Oh, you did? I'll have to, in my email, did you send it, send them in my email? I'm so excited to see that. Do you want me to share on my channel or do you want me to keep them private? You let me know. But thank you so much, sweetie. That actually just warms my heart. It really does. Oh, my goodness. My stencils are all falling down. Now, here's a stencil I used to love. Look how dirty this is. Do you see this? This is one that I used to use. Oh, wow, did I used to use it. I have so many digitals and jelly plates that have this stencil in it. It was my favorite. And I am now going to put something on here. But I got to decide what. What, what, what? I probably should stay in this blue and teal range because I have a brush that's dirty, right? Let's see. Sander says, I'm good. Thanks for asking, cooking and, and listening. Oh, yeah, don't burn the food. Oh, my gosh. We we went and had a picnic with our dogs yesterday and uh, did um, KFC. And so we have leftovers. Because an eight-piece meal for two people feeds you for two days. For sure. For sure. You know what's fun is just the layering. Taking things. And I did these back backwards. And that's okay because I've done that before. Sometimes on purpose. Sometimes not. This time not. I just put them on here. Okay. So now what I would like to do come in with this white boy it's raining hard out there i see poor um sheila who needs rain so bad and i'm like here in oregon going oh you could have some of my rain you can have some of my rain and i'm going to come up from the bottoms and do a little bit of a variegated feel right just because we can just at the tips here Oy, try not to move my stencil. Hi, Zena, the sassy crafter. Oh, I so appreciate you stopping by and catching me live. I am working on mixed media and having a little bit of wine. And so I felt like I should make it very clear in the title. We don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> we don't know how well this is going to go. <laughs> So what I like to do in my videos, been doing it since last year when I first started bingo, um, is encourage everyone to sub to each other, watch a couple videos, and uh, create a new friendship. Okay, here we go. We're going to pull this off. Don't know if we'll love it. Oh, I love it well enough. You know why? Because that blue looks really nice with that pink doesn't it yes kind of graphic now see i could come in and i could um and i i won't actually do it right now but i'll show you uh possibly there is a huge possibility yes but i have it next to me posca pins and then i was gifted these pins to do my rocks with by sherry i was so it was just the sweetest thing let me see if i can use this one on here they're meant for let's see let's see let's see i need a piece that's just not quite wet there we go so i could come in here and i could doodle and outline oh and just have more and more fun there we go now see i did that with this one these marks here are posca pins the purple the blue the yellow um the the, the kind of a checker mark crisscrossed let's see if there's some on here no not really i've been just having such a blast now this one shows it so this pink around here, I made a black circle and then I outlined it in pink partially. And so, and then I kind of just did this, right? Because you can, the Posca pins. Does anyone use Posca pins? You can do this. And do you see the little splatters? 
just a little bit of splatter on there so you could do the outlining finish this blue one in pink give it a little bit of a, a pop an 80s pop remember i'm going to be doing my 80s look eventually if i ever get if i ever get up and in the shower thank you amanda thank you so much thank you zena You never know what you're doing, wine and heart. I know, right? Thing is, is, I was just throwing caution to the wind, right? I'm like, hey, what could go wrong? And I figured, well, let's find out. Let's find out. I love Posca pens, you guys. I've been using them. I think it was uh, Mirami Small Arts is where I first seen them. And I had to have them. Then my dog chewed up some of them, so I had to buy more. Never let the dog get at them again, let me tell you. Never, never, never. So look at that pink and blue, though. How fun to just... And I'm not... I am not a fabulous doodler. I'm, a, I'm an okay outliner. And I can do some things. But there's those ladies that do the most wonderful... You know, uh, me, I kind of like these circles here like I could go outside of that and make a, a kind of a, a feel maybe I try not to think about it I do my best work cover of the flamingos on the journal you shared is beautiful oh Lori I actually mailed that to Martha and she opened it I don't know when the video goes up but you guys should see she said she she messaged or uh, called me on uh, messenger and was telling me that she was just fly, just tears were flying and it meant the world to me to know that she cared that much about it because Martha's an extremely nice lady she's just nice and you know uh sweet and down to earth and what you see is what you get and I just love it okay so I'm trying to be messy now <gasps> Gloria Gloria, I want to show you something. I should surprise you, but I have other things I'll put in there that will surprise you, okay? So I don't have to surprise you with these. These have already been shown on other medias, so I might as well go ahead. This, Gloria and I, oops, okay, so that's that one. Oop. Sorry, Gloria. Okay. Okay. See? Wine. There we go. These are for Gloria. Because feathers represent, I don't know what they represent, but to me, they rep, I'm going to say feathers mean friendship. <laughs> I'm just going to make stuff up as I go, right? Because that's what I can do. Adventure waits, come what may, and shine brightly. Oh, I'm so excited. And I got my uh, thing all printed out and nice, there's a little bit of paint on there. But you'll know when it got on there, sweetie. You'll know it was today. But. Yeah, I'm excited. I and I um I've got some. There's uh, Lilo, right? Raina is doing. You guys should check out her challenge. She's just asking for an uh, ATC, and I figure I can manage an ATC. So I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna hook up with her on that. And what else am I in the works of doing? Mainly, I needed to get that channel challenge done, and I did. What else? What else? What else? What else? Or something else. Thank you, Gloria. Gloria is very sweet. You guys are all very sweet. I don't want anyone to feel like, hey, wait, what about me? Because we all kind of do in the back of our minds. We're like, but, 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 not really. Okay, so there's just a bunch of scribbling that added some pink to the blue. And then if I wanted, I could come over here. Grab a crazy color that doesn't go with anything, has a narrow thingy, and come in and just do splatters. So we're making pastel subway art. How's that? And then I could 
I don't know. Just put a little bit of green just so you can see it every now and then, right? So you're just like, oh, there is some green in there. I swear I seen some green. Did I see some green? I think I did. Yes, I did. There it is right there, right? Just enough. Just enough. But this, it's a fun green. I think that green works well with it. Feather angel wing. Oh, there you go. Angel wings. That's so cool. I'll tell you, I've done some master boards this, this last two or three weeks that um, I'm really proud of the way that they turned out. And I, I have made master boards in the past, but I just, they were good, you know, but these just really kind of hit me on a deeper level. Like they made me feel something versus just, oh, well, there, there it is. That's a, that's a good one. I don't know. Do you guys do that with your art? Sometimes you're like, okay, I did that. Yeah. And then other times you're like, wow. Wow. Did I do that? I don't know. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. So a little bit of green right here and right here. See, for me, it's just all about balance. Where does the eye go? What does the eye want to see as it's moving around your project, right? If it sees all the green right there, then it's going to it's going to be more hesitant to flow around your project. So if you add the green or the zebra print or whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is you're doing. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think black would be a good one to add, but I don't know if I and add, if I have black, oh, I do right there. See, you see the cute marks. Look at that. Oh, dogs, gotta love them. And it's not even dried out. Wow, right? Okay, so here's some black to make it just like perfectly grungy, 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 grungy. Okay, stop, Melody. It's enough. Is it? Is it though? One more drink and we'll find out. Stay says these colors are fab together. Thank you. And it all started because the base was has that yellowish color on there. You see that in the back? And then we came up with the pink and then the blue and then the more vibrant pink and then the green. And now we're switching to black. Sometimes when you start a project, it seems blah. Then when you add the layers of layers of beauty, and it turns out cute. Yes, Ibarra. What you want to do is not give up on your project, right? Let's say that you are not loving it. What Mirami Small Art says over on her channel is you don't stop, don't give up. You just put some more layers on there until you're happy with it. She inspired me to, because I was in Facebook groups. I was not out here on YouTube the way I am now. And she inspired me to feel confident to come out and just do my art. And then what, what comes what is what comes. And here I am. Still learning every day. Feeling like um, it's, a, it's a journey, not a destination, obviously. Feeling like... I am inspired by so many people that I normally would never have been exposed to if I had been out here on the internet, on YouTube, right? So this almost looks like a shadow. And I probably should technically try to do something like the light comes from over here, blah, 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 which I agree. But I just am not in that frame of mind right now to be that deliberate about it. So I'm just going around putting it wherever I want it. Wherever I see a point that I think that I like it. Okay. That's my story. And I'm sticking to it. And I'm trying not to put my hand in the paint that I've already done so that I don't smear it. Although smearing it wouldn't ruin it because it's all very messy. It's all very messy. You want to see how messy it is? 
You see up close, you can kind of see, ooh, yeah, ooh, that is messy. The back, look, isn't that what they say about um about art is you is you squint one eye and, and hold it at arm's length, right? The cool thing is is watching things like this get scanned in. Scan it in and then print it out, and oh, it looks fun. Literally. That's uh that's how a lot of my digitals come together is my jelly plates that they, they were okay, but once they got scanned in, it just melds the colors together and everything. So there is that. We're going to call that pastel grunge. Pastel grunge. I want to kind of muss up the edges though. So I'm going to come in and just throw a little bit of, just a little bit just because it's too white on the edges too white too white mess up a little bit needs a little bit of the black in there there we go must up all righty ladies i am going to let you go love watching your work have to go everyone time to take your furry tree off oh. You guys all have a wonderful evening. I am going to get going too. Go figure out dinner with the husband. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys made my night. Let me tell you. And thank you for um, pastel grunge. I know, right, Eve? That's kind of kind of my vibe. As much as I love the really dark and that, I, this is what I really love is this color, but in a kind of grungy way. Bye-bye. <laughs>